The way I got into coaching really started from when I was working on Wall Street. Then I was vice president of institutional sales. I was working with hedge funds, mostly CEOs or portfolio managers, research analysts, uh, traders, and offering buy and sell recommendations in the stock market. And over time, I'd get to know my clients and they started sharing with me their stories and their problems and whatever was going on at home. And I would lend an ear and listen to them and offer guidance in the best way that I could. And it was then that people started calling me their life coach and they would say, you should become a life coach. And so when I ended up leaving Wall Street to go to India to study yoga and meditation full time, I decided that I would apply for executive coaching school at Georgetown. And so I was going to school for six months in Washington, DC. And at the same time, some of my clients saw me and they asked me to teach them meditation because they were really stressed out. So here I had just learned yoga and meditation. I was starting to share it. And I saw this kind of intersection what I felt was some sort of cool intersection between coaching, meditation, yoga, and energy healing. So I started to experiment and mix these things up while working with my clients. And they allowed me to do that, which was awesome. And it was soon after then that I began to more consciously throw these things together and say, hey, I'm blending these practices together. And it was shortly after then that I started teaching yoga in Los Angeles and and meditation, but then people started to ask for that combination. What's that combination of the energy work, meditation and coaching? And people asked, can you train me in that combination? And that's how I got started in offering integrated life coach trainings over 10 years ago. And that has merged into Liberate, which is our certified meditation coach and tra teacher training. So I think being a coach really is like a calling. It's something that is inside of you and people sense it and feel that natural healing power from you. Perhaps they, you notice people want to share their problems, their stressors, their life stories with you they feel safe and being vulnerable and really expressing themselves and they can really listen to themselves because of the way you listen to them and you're probably somebody who's empathic and sensitive and compassionate so you might feel called to this type of work especially if you like helping and serving others and really uplifting them and helping them focus on what they want to experience in life so those are some of the qualities of a coach. If you're somebody who's energetically aware and you're a good listener, you're a compassionate person, those are some of the essential core qualities if you're heart-centered. And anybody really these days can become a coach even without certification. So even when I develop my trainings, it's not like I had certification in meditation training. Right, I had to learn from the ground up and I basically taught myself and I'm self-taught in everything that I have taught to others. And even though I have gone through some certifications like uh, being certified as a coach through Georgetown, a lot of that comes from, and I think for many people, experience. The more you work with people, the more experience you have, the more adept you become at helping them focus and really hone in on what it is that they want to create. So having two people have that quality, that's what people really need is a quality of space to up level, to focus on what they really want. Because oftentimes for many, it's just in the back of their mind, it's like a buried dream and as a coach, you're excavating, you know, you're peeling back the layers and the fears and the blocks and the concerns and other people's judgments. And you're really getting to that nugget of truth. You know, what is the truth of what you really want? And, and saying that without shame and without judgment, without fear, 
and going after it, right? And having two people really focus and hone in on that is so powerful, especially when it's done with love and with care and creating a really sacred space together. So that's a little bit about my own journey and becoming a coach. I absolutely love it. I didn't know it was something that you could do. I didn't even know the words meditation, coaching, <laughs> you know, say like six or seven years ago, right? It was something that I just started thinking, hey, let's bring these two things together. And I really think it is the future of coaching, bringing mindfulness, awareness, bringing these meditation tools and energy tools forward for people. I hope this is helpful to you in your own path. And if you want to learn more about it, come check out our site and see if there's anything there that you'd like to engage with. And we'd be happy to have a conversation with you. Lots of love.